Can't drive it now. Hello. Trying a little bit of a different angle on my camera. Let me know how you like this. Today I want to talk about how I installed swivel chairs on the spinner van. For my birthday, I got two swivel chairs. This was back in November, so it's been a while. One for the driver's and one for the passenger's seat. I really like them. And they're actually pretty easy to install. So this is kind of how I did it. Take out all the bolts that hold the chair to the seat. So, so the first thing we had to do was take out all these bolts that were sitting in this track right here. Um, so now we've taken those out and we're about to move the chair out. You can undo the seatbelt. They recommend you undo the seatbelt. I did not undo the seatbelt. Just take the chair out. It's fine. Chair is out. Then place the swivel down. Make sure it's the right way. And just tighten. There's like six bolts back in to the swivel to the bottom of the seat. It doesn't lock into place unless it's facing forward. And then put the chair back on the swivel, tighten down the other six bolts. So screw down those four back screws in the tracks and then scooch the chair back. And now we're gonna do the screws, the front ones. And you're done. The driver's side is a little bit more complicated. So the first step is really easy. Take out the four bolts, just like you did with the passenger's side and move the chair back. So what it looks like for the driver's side, just kind of put the chair in the van. <laughs> on my mat. I'm hoping I won't fuck up the floor too bad that way. Then you have to take off the emergency brake cover. However, you don't have to do this if you've already removed the fire extinguisher mount from the back of the seat. Right when I got the van, took off the fire extinguisher mount, which normally goes right here, and we mounted it right there. You take off the mount, fire extinguisher mount, it won't interfere with this part of the um, brake lever. So do what you will. If you do have that installed, you'll have to take this off and cut it. Um, but if you don't have it installed, it should be fine. Mine was already gone, so I didn't need to trim the cover. But if you need to trim the cover, this is how you take it off. You have to remove that pin. You just have to snap it out. And now I'm trying to remove the cover. There's another pin on the other side that side so uh, figure that out so we have to remove those two bolts this is what it will look like when you've pulled it off there's that sticking up out of the ground so they include this little spacer that is supposed to go on your emergency brake mount so now that I got that off I have to install this kind of onto here and then uh, put everything else back together and this easy peasy goes on just using an Allen wrench However, in the instructions, they tell you that the spacer might not fit the two bolt holes. You may have to actually drill out a new bolt hole. That was true for mine. The spacer that I got didn't fit correctly, and I didn't have the materials on hand to drill out a new bolt hole. So I put it back together without the spacer, and the seat swivels just fine. So this cable is attached to the bottom of your um, driver's seat, and it connects to the seat belt. So uh, the car knows that your seat belt's Plug it in, otherwise it'll just beep really loudly. Pull the cable through here, um, and then plug that in once you get the seat back on. Right now I'm about to just bolt these down, right here with the bolts that they give you. Ta-da! One of these, and um, then hopefully this will work. Put the seat back on, screw in the four bolts, and then you're done. They're beautiful. I'm so happy. I gotta show you a few things on here. The, the kit that they gave me comes with this little bracket right here, like this. And this is supposed to go right on here. So you just take these two bolts out and put this behind it. So this lowers the brake lever just a little bit. It lowers a little bit and, pu and pushes it out. But I don't need this bracket in order to be able to turn the swivel chair. Let me pull the lever on the side and it turns and I can go all the way around, no problem. If you do install the bracket, this little bracket right here, if you do install this, they recommend that you tighten the brake cables for the emergency brake. And there is a way to do this. They include it in the instructions. You can go under the van and tighten the brake cables. Then you can engage the swivel 
and pull the brake at the same time. So if you look at my brake right now, when I pull it, it's like really high up, it's engaged. If I tighten those cables, I can have it be pulled up to here instead of here. I called the Euro campers and I checked in with them and I was like, why do I need to tighten this? And they were like, well, if the spacer works for you, you'll need to tighten the brake cables in order to engage the emergency brake and have the swivel seat engaged at the same time. My fix for that is just that I'm not going to engage the parking brake and use my swivel seat at the same time. Doesn't seem like a huge risk to me might seem like a huge risk to you. For my particular van, everything worked out without installing a spacer or tightening the brake cables. That might not be the case for you. So I hope this was helpful for you. If you are thinking about installing swivel chairs, 100% would recommend. It makes having this tiny little space just like about a foot and a half bigger, which is actually a lot considering. And follow me on Instagram at One Chick Travels. Follow me on Facebook at One Chick Travels. Go to my website at OneChickTravels.com and Twitter at Kaya Says, not One Chick Travels. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.